Hey guys, I'm Karan Milani from Mobi Scrub and I'm back with the top 7 Android apps for the month of October 2017. And let's get right into it. The first one is called Material Notification Shade and this app allows you to color your notification panel and have different notification shades for each application. It is basically a replacement for your stock notification panel and it's free and it does not require any root. You can set a custom color for each of the application that is installed on your phone. You also get the ability to change the color of the notification accent, but that would be best to do with a dark theme. You know, so for example, I've got black notifications here. Another interesting feature is that notification itself gets a quick feature upgrade. You can choose to snooze the notification so it comes back to you after a time interval that you want it to come by. And that's extremely useful. The next one is called Shush Ringer Restorer. So when you're entering into a meeting or a movie and you put your phone on silent or vibrate, this app automatically pops up and asks you when would you like to turn it back on. So you can set it for two hours or three hours or half an hour and your phone would turn back into ringer mode. If you've got an AMOLED display, then this live wallpaper would look even better on your screen. While it really looks cool, vibrant and stunning, it's also designed a bit intelligently. First of all, it reacts to touch. So whether you swipe your fingers right or left or up and down or when you tap on the screen, the, the waves follow you. Another thing is that, you know, the dark areas of the wallpaper have actually turned off the pixels there, thereby saving battery. Let's say you're in the app drawer. Do you see in the background, the activity is low, so it's not consuming as much power. There is a bit of customization that's possible. So for example, it also has parallax effect. So when you're moving your phone or tilting your phone left and right, the wallpaper sort of bends in that direction. And you can actually follow this publisher, the, the author, the developer has quite a few interesting um, live wallpapers like the ones you see over here. So feel free to check those out as well. The next one is Fondo and it's yet another wallpaper application. And most of the things are similar like other wallpaper apps, but I'm going to talk about something that's unique. It's got these really nice, thoughtful material wallpapers of landscapes that are very inspirational. You can see that these are really different, you know, it's got a vector and a, a very graphic element to it. Uh, they're all 4K, so they're very high resolution. I've downloaded a few. That's another thing, you know, the app lets you download these wallpapers as well. So, yeah, you know, you've got these and they're pretty high resolution. I'm using a Note 8 over here that's got a Quad HD, sorry, a 2K display. But again, you can see no pixelation whatsoever. There are some geometric based material wallpapers that you're quite used to those. And other than that, you've also got these really nice colorful gradient waves that really go very well on beautiful displays like in the Note 8. The next app is called Clipboard Actions. And what it really does is a lot of times you do copy a lot of content. For example, it could be a phone number, an address. It could be something from your email, an entire paragraph or a sentence. Clipboard Actions creates a log of all of that. So for example, I copied this particular number. It's giving me an option to convert if that's what I want to do. Otherwise, there are a host of contextual things that I can do. If it's an address, I can look it up on maps. If it's a phone number, I could directly call. I could share the you know, content that I've copied with someone or a lot of other things. I can also pronounce it, you know, so there's a speak option as well. And yeah, and it keeps a log so I can see everything that I had copied in succession. If you're an iPhone fan, then you can get the lock screen look of the latest and the most talked about iPhone X on your Android smartphone right away. You can install lock screen iPhone X style from the Play Store, grant permissions, and then you're all set. It's got, you know, the same notification style. You get the access to the command center to pretty much access your brightness, volume settings, a host of utility apps. You can also toggle your radios, go into airplane mode. Uh, turn back rotation. So you've got all of that right there. And you can then just swipe up to unlock your screen, which is also standard. And there are quite a bit of customizations available. You can, uh, you know, activate quick reply for SMS or for WhatsApp. You could go ahead and add fingerprint uh, security. You can change the wallpaper. So right now it's the, the really popular pink and purple uh, gradient, but you can change all of that. And of course, you can have, you know, vibrations, time format, unlock text. So you, you can have that customization possible. Now, I've been using a new email client called Newton Mail, which I've really grown used to uh, it and find it a lot faster, smarter and some features that are not available otherwise in email apps. For example, I can, of course, I can add a host of 
email accounts, but I can give them separate colors if I wanted to, you know, and again, I'll just show that to you. I could go into settings and then uh, add more, right? And then I can just, you know, there's this whole list of possible accounts that I can add, which I think is pretty good. And you can give it its, its own color. There are extended swipe gestures available. So, you know, if I swipe a little to the left and all the way to the left or right, I could I could get different options and I can snooze my emails to come back to me at a later time that I define. I also get read receipts so I know that the person on the opposite end has in fact read the mail that I have sent. Other than that, it also ties up with third party productivity apps like Todoist, OneNote, Evernote, Pocket uh, and so on. And I can share this email right uh, you know, directly from my inbox if I wanted to. And of course, I can also access more details. Now, in under my settings, you can see the connected apps that are available. And it does cover pretty much the most important ones like Todoist, Pocket and uh, Evernote. Other than that, uh, I can go to Tidy Inbox, enable that so I know all my newsletters and social promotions and updates are going into another folder. And I can also schedule my emails so I can send them out at a particular time and date if I wanted to. So that's it from me guys. Those were the top seven apps for the month of October 2017. Do let me know if you know any apps that I should talk about maybe in the next month. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up.